Kenneth Benjamin, or as most of us know you as Flipper. <laughs> First, I want to say congratulations on your appointment as a West Indies bowling coach for the Tour of Africa. What are you looking forward to most about that upcoming tour? First, let me say thank, thank you very much. Uh, when I look at the, the responsibilities of my role, it is basically to, to go and assist the owners. Obviously, we will have to have a discussion as to how I can help. I think that is very important. These guys are professionals and they would have their plans and their personal things. So I think I'm more just like a, a, a guide, someone who can assist in terms of the help that they need. You mentioned that these guys are professionals. You know, you've been doing a bit of work with the emerging players recently. What's the difference you think between coaching at that level and coaching at this elite level? Well, I think when you coach at the academy, you know, uh, a lot of what you're doing is getting guys ready for that international level. So obviously, you, you'll be doing a lot of teaching in terms of what they, what they should do so that when they get to that level, the expectations, you know, um, when you coach at the international level, it, it, is, it is about more dialogue and people, you know, um, conversating as to what is required. You know, the team requirements, how we're going to achieve the, the team requirements because these players, surely they should be um, complete at, at that level. Obviously, we know that is not it, but most of them have a very good idea as to what is it that, that they want to do at the international level. And we know that you're very passionate about coaching and very passionate about, passionate about cricket in general. What does coaching at this level mean to you? What does it mean to you to go and coach the West Indies team? Well, I think it is always good to know that, um, you know, people look at you as an individual who can make a contribution to, to West Indies cricket. So, so it means a lot. It tells you that people are watching and people are appreciating, you know, what you do and have some confidence that you can make uh, a contribution at that level. For me personally, it is very good and it is very important to go and to see what is going on at that level, certain requirements, so that when you would have come back down to the academy level, you would have more information to work with in terms of what these guys in the academy needs to do to get themselves ready for that level. And you have toured all over the world with the West Indies in your playing days. What do you think it would take from the bowlers in particular down in Zimbabwe and South Africa to get some success? I think we have to back our, our skills. We have to back what we practice. I, I, a lot of times I think we stray away from things that we practice, the things that we do well because maybe we're not getting the required results. Uh, test cricket is a very good game and sometimes we have to be patient. So I think if we're just patient, if we play fearless, aggressive cricket, but patient, I think we can do well in the African continent. And you enjoy a good relationship with Andre Coley. You both work together at that academy level. How much are you looking forward to working with him and seeing him strive in this role? Well, definitely, I think Andre is very open-minded. He's one who, who, is, who is not going to um, look over his shoulders. Once he has someone on board with him, I think that is because he believes in them. And I think I'm looking forward to continue uh, the work that we started in the academy. I think together we, we make a good team and I'm just looking for, for good things um, in terms of supporting him. Thanks Kenny.